I'm excited to be able to welcome on one of the top prospects in the 2024 class, Ja'Kai Howard. What's going on, bro? Doing good. Not much, man. Well, I mean, as you get ready now to head into this high school career, how excited are you going to get ready to get started in this? I'm mean, getting yeah, real excited. You know, it's my freshman year. Mm -hmm. I want to put on a show for it, no crowds. And talk about this move. You're obviously moving out now to Georgia. You're going to powerhouse school. What went in this decision and what went out to moving out to Georgia? It was like, it was the best decision because I grew up in Georgia, but like, and where I'm from, Boston, it's not like a lot of exposure. So I went to come down and put the best in my class. It was the best. Yeah. So has it always kind of been in your mind that you wanted to come back to Georgia to play high school basketball then? Yeah. Gotcha. And so you're going to be joining a team that has some returning pieces, but overall, they're losing a lot of star power next year. A guy like Josh Taylor, JT, obviously Quincy. How do you kind of look to be able to go in there and kind of replace them in a way? I want to be able to replace them and take over North and the North, North Cross, how they did, and be able to hopefully bring down a bigger chip. How excited do you kind of start building bonds with those guys? Uh, it's going to be it's very exciting to play with top players like them. Be able to get to know them more. Be able to learn from them. Absolutely. Let's kind of talk about what led to coming into high school. I mean, you've obviously become a well-known national prospect in your class, one of the top guys. Just take us through the past year and what it's been like kind of blowing up. It's been like, it's like I've always yeah. noticed that I'm probably would end up coming, but it's amazing to be able to be one, like be a top player in my, my grade right now, but it's more to come at this age. I'm still young, so it's more to come at my age. And you've been able to play at a high level, like I said, for a while now. And there's been a couple of different things. You've been a part of CP3 camp before. That was really one of the first big-time camps you were in. What was that camp yeah. like? It was amazing. CP3 was, like, probably the funnest camp I've been, I've been to. CP3, it was it was very, yeah, it was very exciting. Very fun. Played the top players. Played against the top players. Very great. And now recruiting we'll get into in a little bit. That's going to be a long way away still. But just kind of talking with some of the top players now, and we know – Kind of an idea who some of the top guys are going in now. Is there, is there anyone in particular you really created a great bond with yet? Uh, yeah, Jordan Key. It's mm -hmm. like the one the kid, I play with him on Night Riders. It's like one of my close close friends, one of my brothers. Really. That's awesome. And you're gonna be running with Night Riders. I mean, we know COVID's kind of shut down everything for now, but just what's it been like, and why did you choose to want to run with them? Uh, they're it's, it's a great team, UIBL. Um. My mom, my, it was really my mom. This is, she really liked the coach, right, the owner of the um, Night Riders. So it was a great move for me, and it's been a great move right now. Let's just talk about your game overall. You're a guy that you have pretty much all the intangibles, all the potential in the world to become one of the best, not the best player in your class. How do you look to kind of grow into that player? Uh, I don't really like, worry about being the best player in my class. I don't want to, if you, want to, if you ask me, I don't, know, I don't want to be the best player in my class. I want to be. I always wanted to stay underdog. Underdog be, not like I just want to be underdog. Just prove you wrong. Just do the best. Go to college. That's all I always want to do. I'm not ready about like the, the rankings. None of that. I just want to be best for me. And be the dog. For you yeah. personally, is there any NBA players you kind of look to model your game after or take pieces from? Uh, Jason Tatum and Kevin Durant. And to possibly reach the point of being someone like those guys, it's kind of bona fide all stars in the NBA at some point. What will it take and what do you need to do to your game to get to that level? A lot of work, a lot of dedication, early mornings, late nights, work. Absolutely, man. And obviously you're going to take a little bit. Offers will start coming in soon in the next couple of years and then recruitment will start really picking up. But as the time approaches, what is this right now looking at colleges? What's some of the stuff you really want to see in a college that will help them kind of land you someday potentially? Uh, I want to be able like, to have a family want them to be like, I want to, I want to go to a school that's like, yeah, a, a, like has a bond together, that's close, that do everything together. That's just not like just a team that just, they like, I want a family. Go, go, you know, go to a big school, have a family. But, yeah. At this point for you right now, we know you guys will have the option of going straight to the NBA out of high school. Potentially, if that's not available, you could also go G League if that's still going to be something. Would either one of those pro routes be something you would consider when the time comes? Me and other hand, I, I it, like going to teach, teach the league wouldn't be a problem, but I would really want to. I really want to go to college. Like mm -hmm. I want to play college basketball. That's awesome, man. For you now, is will it be something possibly staying close to Georgia, staying close to home and family? Will that have any kind of impact on your recruitment when the time does come? 
maybe you know I'm a I'm a big family guy so like mm-hmm. if I feel like I need to stay home and the best predicament for me I would stay home yeah stay close to my family gotcha and you kind of kind of notice like your dream coach obviously everyone got their own preference in terms of the personality types what they've accomplished what would a dream coach look like for you coach Cal sure mm-hmm. I like I just the way that that he coaches and the way his style I just that's my type of coach yeah so pretty much everything about Coach Cal is like the dream kind of coach? Yeah. That's awesome, man. And when this all start picking up and you get the high school media attention that's going to start coming, how do you kind of plan to still focus in on your game? Uh, all the attention, all that, I don't like really focus on that. I'm really worried about like doing something with life, worried about going to school, getting all this over, play basketball. It's all it's my love to get over with, hopefully go to college. And after that, whatever happens, happens. You go from there. That's awesome, man. I know you also played football growing up. What – talk about us, your love of football. Uh, I, I, growing up, my first sport was football. I always played football until, like, the seventh grade. I was going to go to high school for everything football and I ended up moving. I ended up getting taller and longer. Just football wasn't for me. So, would you ever consider possibly playing football in, in high school or – I was considered a couple of times, but how much I work out and stuff like my body wasn't going to really handle it. So I just chose basketball, made one sport. What was your position you like playing football? Uh, I was a quarterback and receiver. Gotcha. And so, I mean, you kind of obviously said, you know, you moved into being 100% committed to basketball. When that kind of switch, like, do you remember the exact time that you realized basketball was just going to be your sport? Uh, it was the seventh, seventh grade summer when I caught my first dunk. <laughs> and then everybody was like, oh, well, you should, like, focus on basketball. Because, like, football, I was good and all, but, like, I was, like, high school, like, prep schools wanted me to go to this school and stuff like that. But it just wasn't for me. I, I'm not uh, I'm not saying I'm soft, but I don't like them hits. Too dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not for me. Now, you mentioned your first dunk ever was in seventh grade. Not a lot of guys are doing that. What was it? What did it feel like to be able to dunk as a seventh grader? It was like crazy because like I couldn't. Dunk. I would try to dunk plenty of time. And the first thing, the thing is, it was an end game dunk. My first game dunk was an end game dunk. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Did you kind of shock yourself then when you did it? Yeah, like I wasn't. I didn't want to dunk it. I just went up. And it was a great feeling. What was the reaction from everyone else? They was like, they was hyped because it was like they never seen me dunk before, and this is it's an end game dunk, so it was like it's even crazier. And doing that, like I said, something not a lot of guys do. That's what kind of explains you are a kind of a freak of nature. You have a lot of different tangibles to your game. What? Do you, how do you kind of plan to keep growing and using those things as you move up to the next few years? Uh, at the moment, I really want to focus on my my body right now because I know I'm trying to build some weight on me, be able to be a, like uh, build some weight at a young age instead of have to go to college and up like being skinny and have people stronger than me. I wanted to really focus on my body right now, but yeah. And you mentioned how you were kind of set in on coming back to Georgia for high school. Were there any other high schools you were considering? I was really going to end up going – I was really, like, focused on Montverde. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to – like, like I said, I was a big filming guy. I couldn't – like, I, I couldn't be my mom. Gotcha. My mom is, like, my world to me. So, like, it was, like, if I, like – and my little brothers, I just couldn't. I, and I wanted to stay home. And, and it was a better opportunity for me because, like, all them big-time players go to Montverde. Everything and it's a and Norcross is a great school. Absolutely, I mean, I think that's one of the things too. I mean, going to where you're going right now is not going to be any kind of downfall. And Atlanta is probably one of the most stacked states you could possibly go to for basketball yeah. in general. But this is a team that we, like I said, they have JT through our top fifty guy. I mean, Quincy, Josh, all these guys are high major guys. How how excited are you kind of like follow his legacy and become the next great player there? Uh, it feels like it, it's it's a, it's a big opportunity. Big, a lot of weight on my shoulder being a, coming in as a freshman, but I feel like I could take over, take after the guys. And if you're here now for the freshman year, however long, will you possibly go into like a school like Montverde, IMG, or any other big prep school possibly come up down the road? I was possibly thinking about that stuff like uh, 10th grade year until you go to Montverde, but at the moment, I'm committed, like, loyalty come, uh, to Norcross right now. I'm not worried about it on the school right now. Absolutely, man. And- as I said, you come to Georgia, a state that I view as one of the top three, if not the best state in all of America. How excited are you kind of just become another great overall just Georgia player now? 
it was great to be, you know, as a top player in Georgia in my grade. It just feels amazing. Yeah. And there's so much talent that you're going to be able to go up against this upcoming year. What's the team or even the player the most excited to go play? Uh, probably we lost to D-Maze last weekend. I would have played Justin Felton again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Personally, now you rank the states. What's your top five in terms of states in America? Uh, number one, Atlanta for sure. Number two, I'm going to say North Carolina. Number three, New York, four, Jersey, five, probably the DMV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got tough over there. So you don't like the West Coast at all? No, the West Coast got – yeah, you're right. Uh, my top five is definitely East Coast. But if I had to put like a 16, it will be California. Mm-hmm. California's top, yeah. Without a doubt, man. And my last thing before I let you go is you're going to want to build a legacy for yourself, but what you achieve in your high school, college, and then professional career, as well as what you achieve off the court someday, what would you say is kind of would be your, what do you want your legacy to be by the time you walk away from the game of basketball someday? That I was a dog, that I, that I really like, that I had made a statement for myself, being a kid living in Boston, Mass, to, to moving all the way to Atlanta. I want my story to be told as like, uh, like I was an underdog, uh, yeah. That's really it. And one last quick thing. You said, obviously, you're coming from Boston, Celtics, and Atlanta. You got the Hawks out there. Or which one's your favorite team? Or is there any of them? Uh, Celtics, for sure. Mm-hmm. Got my favorite player, JC, too. True. I definitely appreciate you hanging out to come on, my guy. Look forward to what God's got next for you, bro. Appreciate it. Of course, man. You know you're always welcome on, man. God bless. All right. Me too.